<clears throat> yeah, I kind of sprinted up the hill there. <laughs> you know, getting my daily exercise. As of today, March 21st, uh, the Ontario government has lifted all mask mandates. All except uh, hospitals and healthcare facilities. Yeah, I can see that. You know, the hospital's got a lot of sick people in there. And, you know, all right. Oh, yeah, but, uh, oh, this felt like such a relief to go to the grocery store without having to wear a face diaper. Yeah. And even before I got to the grocery store, I knew that at least, uh, I don't know, half the customers in there would be still wearing their face diapers. And I was right. No. You know, it's like... And half of those people, I look at them, they look like healthy individuals. It's like... What are you worried about? Uh, you know, some people, it's like, no, you don't need to wear it, man. It's, I mean, I can tell that around here, it's not like the virus is out of control and there's really no risk, so most of you people still wearing your face diaper, uh, you don't really need it. Okay, now I can see if you were like 150 years old or something like that, or a cancer patient and you're, what do they call it, at risk. Okay, I can see you having to wear your mask just to mm, protect yourself. Uh -huh. But there's this one thing that a lot of people don't really see going on that kind of goes really deep into the subconscious level. There's rational fear and irrational fear. And some people, well, when it comes to irrational fear, it invokes the self-preservation thing within people and they... Everyone's coping mechanism is different from one person to another. And they feel some people may be still fearful. But there's also this one thing where... I don't know, it almost seems like some people want to maintain the uniform code of the disciples of the cult of Lerona. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you're like elderly, immunocompromised, cancer patient, at risk, and you want to still wear it, I, got, I won't hold it against you, okay? But if you're a healthy individual and you want to treat it like the uniform code as if to say, well, I'm a disciple, you're a heretic, you're a bad person, you know, there might be those people that think, yeah, I'm going to keep wearing it just to give you the message that, yeah, I'm wearing it, you're not. As if to say, as if to differentiate themselves from other people, as if to say, yeah, you're not... I still wear mine, and you're not because you're an anti-vaxxer. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so you're going to get people like that that want to carry this on like some uniform code. Just to send that message that, well, I mean, like, it's been two years, so, I mean, like, it's pretty easy for people to have something, you know, really ingrained in their psyche, and they don't want to let it go. And I made this adaptation to this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you have health problems or you're immunocompromised, I won't hold it against you, but if you're one of these people that you're healthy and you're just well, hanging on to it like some uniform code, yeah, I got a problem with that. Oh, God. But yeah, yeah, that's just my two cents on that shit. Anyways, I'm just going to be out in the fresh air and enjoy the fresh air.